Greetings, Sunday morning, and this is about 10 past 12. Now about five, 10 minutes ago, I've just done a very nice little overview of Eric Percy's new um, iPocket Draw program for the iPod or the iPhone. Um, excellent little program, worth every penny that it costs. I don't think it's two or three quid on, on the sign. I can't remember what it's, what it's uh, costing, but it's exactly what the, the, the iPhone needs. It's an on the move, professional CAD program. This is getting near to that. If not, it's already there. Needs a couple of items like Snap. I'd love to see that on there and perhaps a little bit uh, more functionality in terms of saving or and importing. But anyway, have a look at my review. Enjoy. Greetings, Steve Scaysbrook. 11.52, as you can see from the screen, on Sunday the 4th of October, day before my birthday and um, what I'm going to show you today is something that came up onto my um, updates on my iPhone and this is iPocket Draw by Eric Poos, uh, Parisian, who um, I spoke about, well no, I blogged about in late July and I said how good this program is and um, I sent a note to Eric to say absolutely great program but can we have a few extra items and how do you do this and how do you do that? Eric sent a nice reply back to me saying he was away for August. Well, he's Parisian. Everybody in France goes away for August. And um, he said he would look at it when he got back. Bless him, he has. And he's come up with some cracking updates for this programme. This is now a professional CAD programme for the guy on the move. It's that good. So, what have we got? Well, this is a drawing I did earlier, haha, <laughs> as you always do. And have a look down here. Now, down the bottom here, I've got line length, squares, ovals, text, a new icon. Well, it was there before. It was um, a, a rosette, the bin, and the pointer. But at the top now, I've got a nice little um, icon for, the, for the, um, the saving button. I've got some tools here, and I've got a little bit of information that just puts up, you know, um, what all the different tools are all about. So first, let's go up here and have a look. These are the files that I've got at the moment and to be honest I don't want any. Well let's have a look at the saving first because if you save and I can save to RealCAD, don't forget Eric wrote RealCAD and a DXF file. Now I've already tried this and it really does work. Comes straight up, puts it as a link onto a new um, uh, document within my email package. I just put in two and away it goes. Now I've tried this and I've loaded it into Vectorworks as a DXF file and it works perfectly. So let's just go out of that and let's just edit something. And I want to do, I want to, I want to detail, I want to delete it. Let's just get rid of it. And into this one here. And um, let's do that. Now if I want to come into something here, which is this one, which looks at the line width and line type, line colors, background, is it filled or isn't it filled? And the text height. Now watch what happens when I highlight something and go back into that. All of a sudden now I've got all this information down here. Now the one that's really interesting for me is this one here because that's the line length. Now I can set that into millimetres, pixels or whatever you want. I happen to like the units of millimetres so that's what I use. But look at that, I can actually set the area as well. So let's just get out of that and come back in again. And let's have a look at um, the little thing up here, because there it is in pixels, look. Now let's just move that down. And I don't like this, I like it in the accuracy of one millimeter. And my angles I like in degrees. Now I have a scale of one to one at the moment, but I can change that to whatever I like, because scale has now been added, one of the main features I was looking for. So let's, look, look, let's change that to one to ten, because that doesn't affect the drawing screen on here, because you just zoom in and out, but it affects it when you actually load it into your CAD package. So let's have a look at that and put that back down. Let's draw another line. Now, if you notice something that I did ask for, but it isn't here at the moment, and that's snap to. There is no snap to, not that I can find anyway. So again, let's look at that and try and pick it up. Sometimes snapping to something isn't that, isn't that intuitive. Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. Let's go back to there. There you go. Or that one there. 
Now let's go back onto here. Now you'll see the line length is here, uh, um, 1,067 millimetres. Let's put that down to 10 millimetres and see what happens. Let's just go out of that to make sure it sets. Sets and done. And there again, you see the line has almost gone down to 10 millimetres. It's gone away. Text is also very easy to do. You just text in, blah, 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 and put it in, and it comes into your drawing now. Where the hell has that gone? Oh, there it is. There it is. Absolutely brilliant. Really first class. There's the little information that tells you who's done it. I Pocket Draw, release 1.03 by Eric Puss, the author of Real CAD. And those are the things he's put in. Nice, nice package. I'm really pleased that Eric's managed to do something on this and um, update it to what I can now consider as a semi perfect No, let's give it its full credit. It's a professional CAD tool for the guy on the move. I can draw on this quite easily um, and will do when I see something that requires me to quickly put down a sketch or a thought or an idea. I like this. I can save it as DXF. I can send it to myself and then I can import it straight into my CAD package. Excellent, excellent little package. I think Eric deserves a good round of applause on this one. And I think it deserves your favour as well. Because if the guy is going to keep on adding and adding items to it to make it even better, he needs a little support. So go onto the website, download it onto your machine, give him a few bunts. Nice one.